Welcome to Gloucester Park TV. Gareth Hall with you, joined by Gary Hall Jr. Let's have a chat about Friday night at Gloucester Park. You've got several drives, and of course you're the foreman these days for the Gary Hall Senior Camp. We'll have a chat about this first race, Idolise Me. Tough barrier draw to contend with in a pretty handy field. Yeah, not a bad field and bad draw. Um, probably look for luck and hopefully play a part late. Gary Hall Senior has a couple of runners in the second event, Mohican Sun and also Delightful Jade. Yeah, Mohican Sun got the good draw. Um, Jade hasn't been getting much luck in her races. She looks tested from there, but he could probably fill a place. He'll probably hold up early and wait for probably John of Arc, I'd say, to come across. The third race, it lives the light for Maddie Scott's drawn inside the second row, but it's a pretty winnable ammo. It's not the strongest. Yeah, horse is going well. Um, another one that's not having much luck in its races, but... Uh, it'll pay to keep following him. I think he's definitely got to win in the near future. OK, as we turn the page here on Gloucester Park TV, uh, Juliana Ranchick, she's drawn barrier two. Went super last start. Um, went really good, and I think that's just how we're going to have to keep driving her from now on, like really soft and just let her get home late. And uh, I said last week she will pick up one, and no one will probably be on her, but if you've been on her, keep following her. I don't think Friday's her night, but, um, yeah, she will win one soon. That's a good race, Dota Delicious, who was pretty good first up in the inform mare, basically, of WA Harness Racing at the moment. Hidden Bear's drawn outside that front row. For the record, I think Hidden Bear um, can win that race and beat Dota Delicious and maybe a little bit of an upset. Race number five will kick off the quaddy. Commander Chapel's going to be hard to beat, draw on the pole. Two and a half Tigers, second up from a break. Awkward barrier draw, um, barrier six on Friday night. Yeah, he'll benefit... Um, greatly from his first up run I thought he was good good enough um, he looked the winner at the top of the straight and probably just faded on his run a little bit and Rycroft had an easy time in front so um, he's another one he'll, he'll hit good form again soon and Friday night looks testing for him with Commander Chapel drawn one it can run good times in front and probably should be winning really I like one in race number six that you drive for Glen Alley at Braveview Bomber I think this, this horse has been in really good form good tough run the other day probably has to do it tough but this is an easier race for mine on paper yeah he um i had a choice here with few and obviously major catastrophe is drawn a lot better than him and, and i think he's sort of racing towards the win as well and in pretty good form so it's a hard one but um yeah i've just been impressed with bravey bomber lately i want to try and probably stick with him a little bit and um i think he can probably string a few together when he um gets the right sort of draws uh, it looks hard for him i think there'll be a little bit of pace on early and probably major catastrophe end up outside Taji's girl and hold that spot and we might be able to get a card in on the back of Vanquish or something like that and if that plays out that way we can win. Let's have a look at the free for all intriguing battle. The Hall Camp have three runners. We'll talk about your drive first of all Bodine Boaz. He trialled with the hood on on Sunday at Byford. What was your report from that run? Uh, it was hard to tell. It was a stand trial. There's only three in it. Um, he went very good but um, as far as the effects of the hood we didn't really get a good uh, Good look at that because he ended up leading and there was no sort of nothing sort of come at him in the trial which you'd probably expect. So um, I was happy enough with the way he went and he ran home in a really quick last sectional. So yeah, I'm pretty confident. I'll be I said this I think last start, but I'll be disappointed if he didn't win. Okay, waylaid from barrier two. Has Bodine Boaz got enough gate speed to cross him at the start? Uh, probably not. Not cross him, but um, I think just the way they're the way they're racing, that Waylaid would be um, taking a sit on him. I'd hope, yeah. I'd like to think that would be happening. Um, Bodine Bo is not the sort of horse you'd want outside you, and Waylaid probably uh, you know needs to get into some sort of form heading towards Inters. See you, Mac. He's probably been around the mark of late. He hasn't had much luck with draws, but where is he at at the moment? Um, I, you know, he's obviously always just been below those very top ones. He's you know just just a really nice free-for-aller that everyone would like to have and um, you know racing towards this time of year and these sort of races he's always going to be tested a little bit from these draws uh, yeah I think if he led a race like this he'd be awfully hard to beat but uh, from any other position he's just a rough knockout chance. If Cole Harper lights up better's fire at the start are you confident you can still hold him with Boaz? Yeah 100% um, he, with the hood on he'll be wanting to come out charging and um, yeah, obviously mindful of that. and He's got really good speed, but um, I think um, oh, it was Toretto it was that held him in the in the pacing cup, and uh, um, yeah, I'd say Boaz is definitely quicker out than him. So one of the most frustrating horses in the history of racing is the Trotter Arm Force. He wins when you're not on, and he gallops when you're on. And again, he proved that fact 
on, uh, was it Monday, Monday. Pinjarra, and he was pretty impressive the way he got the job done. Yeah, he was. Um, you know, we had a pretty good run in transit, but we did a bit of work off the arm, and I love him. You know, every time I love you bagging him, because since you've been doing that, he's been winning, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he's taken a long time to probably get fit this time in, which I think, um, you know, has been the biggest key to his success now, and yeah, I think his last run was super, but again, um, you know, that draw makes it hard. We're going to try and get him back in the draw now, and Hopefully he can um, be on his best manners in the future. Okay. Your best on Friday night? Uh, Boaz. Second best? Uh, probably Bomber each way. Okay. How many winners do you expect to walk away with on Friday night? <laughs> I never expect to walk away with any, but I hope to walk away with... We'll start with one Friday. Um, been a bit lean, light on the last few weeks, but, uh, yeah, it's all starting to hopefully come together at the right time when all the big races are coming through, so been doing all right in the country but yeah we need some friday night winners now okay love to get an update on a hoka punter they tell me at his first serious fast work run here on wednesday yeah took him around nice horse um yeah he felt really strong and um you know he's really relaxed out there which was good he's been a bit fired up in jog work but um track work he was really relaxed and um just felt like i expected him to really he um he wants to get in a little bit but um yeah that that was uh he was rigged up for that and um yeah, he was really nice to sit behind and, as I said, got to the line really well and he's ready to go, really, you know. He's, his form proves that and we've only got to maintain that to, for him to be a good chance. Will he have a run before the heats? Uh, I'm not too sure. He might go to trials, but I haven't actually uh, seen you about that. I, I, I don't think so. I think he, you know, he might have a trial or something like that and, and then go straight into the heats. But uh, I think around Gloucester Park, if he finds the rail, um, you know, take a really good horse to beat him. One probably faster than Hector. Yeah. Yeah, very good point. I tell you what, when we do Gloucester Park TV, I think we can get a sponsor, a fly sponsor. Flies everywhere out here in Serpentine. Best of luck. Thanks, yeah.